Hello and Happy New Year. This is Isolde Trachtenberg with the Creative Mindset Podcast. People ask me all the time how I get so much done. Well, I make resolutions, if you will. So if you made resolutions and you're good at keeping them and achieving those goals, good on you and I'll see you. If, however, you have some trouble keeping the resolutions that you make, here's how to keep them. I've got a very simple 10-step process that will have you making progress like you wouldn't believe. And actually, it's sort of 10 plus because there's a zero. So here's how to keep your New Year's resolutions. This is zero. Zero presupposes that you want to achieve these goals And don't just feel like you should achieve them. Do you see what I mean? If you don't want it, really, if you're not like gung-ho, I'm going to do this no matter what, don't resolve to achieve it. Know yourself first. Know what you actually want, what you're actually guided to do from your innermost being. If you don't know that, resolutions are going to be almost impossible to keep. So only resolve what you really know you want. Here we go. Number one, don't just think them, say them out loud. Number two, don't just say them out loud, tell them to a friend. Number three, don't just tell a friend, write them down. Number four, don't just write them down, put them somewhere prominent. Number five, don't just put them somewhere prominent, look at them daily. Number six, don't just look at them daily. Check in with yourself about how much progress you've made. Number seven, don't just check in with yourself about how much progress you've made. Track it somewhere by writing it down. Number eight, don't just track it somewhere by writing it down. When you achieve a goal, mark it with a big old X. Number nine, don't just mark it with a big X. Take a deep breath and do a victory dance. And number 10, don't just take a deep breath and do a victory dance. Write down the next goal and start the process again. See, consistency is queen here. If you stay consistent in the above steps and commit to doing them daily, you're going to amaze yourself with the progress you make because this is aligned with what you actually want and you articulate it to yourself and you tell a friend to keep yourself accountable and you write it down to make sure that you can keep focused on exactly what it is that you're trying to achieve and doing all of that and staying consistent in acknowledging the resolution, acting on the resolution, and then marking it down when you finished allows your brain to go, good, that's done, on to the next thing. It becomes a lot more clear and a lot easier to achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, that is my 10 plus step method of keeping and achieving those resolutions. And if you love that, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And if you are struggling with your resolutions, try me. I will try to help. Comment, let me know. And if you like this podcast, do me a favor, review it, tell a friend about it. Because the more we get out there with this message of of process and achievement, the more we will achieve and the more we will be able to not only catch up to our own dreams, but help others live theirs. All right, this is Isolde Trachtenberg. And until next time, let's get to it.